Here's some Johnson grass emerging from rhizomes. Again, you can see the fairly broad leaf blade and the kind of reddish stem bases that's common on Johnson grass. Here is some Johnson grass about midway uh, in growing up. You can see it's assuming a more upright growth compared to the kind of the sprawling growth you'll see when the new emergence from the rhizomes. Again, the broad leaf blades and the prominent mid vein still show up even in the younger plants. Here is some mature Johnson grass. It's beginning to flower now, usually with a golden to rust color to almost purplish inflorescence. Uh, the kind of the reddish rust is the most common. Um, these plants will produce abundant rhizomes plus seed from their inflorescences. These plants are about four to five feet tall right now. Coming in a little closer to look at the Johnson grass plant, we see the leaves have a very prominent uh, bright white mid vein. That's kind of characteristic for the plant. And the leaves are fairly broad, almost one inch across. The inflorescence here, you can see again, sort of that uh, reddish coppery color. Um, there are some awns or little hairs sticking out at the end of the flowers. And this inflorescence type is called a panicle. It's a noxious weed in Missouri and many states because of its ability to spread rapidly. This Johnson grass inflorescence is fairly large, probably close to almost a foot tall. And we can see the individual uh, spikelets there on the branches. This one's got a real deep coppery red color. The point where the blade joins the sheath on the leaf, there's a little bit of a ligule there, a membranous ligule. Kind of. This is a portion of a Johnson grass rhizome. You can see kind of its segmented little joints there, and that's how you can distinguish rhizomes from creeping roots. Besides internally there's some structural differences. See the roots forming all along the rhizome which is really a stem but also shoots that have generated at a couple points here and would be capable of generating further down on the rhizome as well as it grows. So um, the rhizome you can see is fairly thick. A lot of times it'll have uh, when it's actively growing kind of some uh, pinkish uh, tint to um, it at right at the nodes or the little po points where you can see the sections. Not really showing here now, this is a little bit later in the season, uh, here in mid-September.